so first things first i'm just going to show you guys what this report is all about so let's just uh, play around with this report first so i can select my fiscal year uh, for example fiscal year 2013 right so i have uh, uh, the mountain 200 is my product so i have uh, almost like uh, 3 million 3.3 million in sales which is like 34 percent of the overall sales and then uh, for the same year you see my customer jennifer has got 199 units of the product right uh, of all i mean in fact of all the products basically it's not like one single product and then you have here uh, for that given year what is uh, you know trend of the order and what is the trend of your uh, you know sum of sales right so at a given point of time you can find what is the units you know units on the given time given month and then what is uh, sales for the given month right so see here it goes on for each and every month Where, wherever it has sales it's gonna, just gonna go for that right so um, and then you also have a period slicer here so this period slicer it only works for this card right so this card you see here it's just gonna give you like a you know uh, sum of sales or sales for a given period that you choose here so like right now the period is from 2009 to 2014 so let's you know say 2010 to 2014 see there is 26 million in sales let's say 2011 to 2014 there is 19 million in sales right but everything else is remaining assets only this is moving only this is changing for this one right so we'll see both so we'll also uh, th these ones have like a lot of these measures uh, inbuilt so let's go ahead and create those measures and let's uh, see how we can create this report right so I'm gonna show you guys from scratch but before that um, I'm going to show you guys this model, what I have in the back. All right, so um, so I have uh, my DIM customer, I have my fact internet sales, and I have my DIM product. So these are the three tables, uh, These are this is the relationship that we created in our previous video. So I'm just going to reuse that. What I have just did is basically I just added a DIM date uh, table. It's, uh, uh, and I'm just making a, a relationship based on right now based on the order date right so my transaction table has a order date key so I'm just connecting my order date sorry my date key with the order date right I also have two different inactive relationships here which I will talk in my next video so let's go ahead and get it started right now all right so let's create a new page right so let's first start with the basic visualization so I'm going to show you guys um, I'll show you'll see the sales amount by the product right so let's take your product it's my product I'll take my model name right so I'm just gonna make it as a I'll just make it as a, it's a donut graph okay uh, and I don't like these details so I'm just gonna turn it turn the details off so I'll just go here say details turn it off right so I can just always hover over to see what is the uh, exact uh, sales and I don't have to you know populate everything out here right so this is just a simple sales that I have right simple sales uh, it's just gonna sum here you see here it's gonna automatically sum if it is not then you have to manually check it out it's always good to check here uh, what kind of aggregation it is doing but uh, yeah then you also have your model name you have your sum sales it's a very simple calc right and let's also see your quantity order quantity right so I wanted to see order quantity based on the customer see how my customers are all ordering right so my f customer name is uh, it's uh, there's a column called first name right so I wanted to see the order quantity based on my customer name I want it to be like uh, something like this all right so what we have here is a very basic and simple visualization I can just go ahead and add my fiscal year so it uh, so that I can uh, you know filter uh, based on the fiscal year and I can tell for a given fiscal year this is what I have sold uh, this is the quantity I have sold for my customer right so I can just make it as a drop down I just need to click this small arrow here make it as a drop down so all right so I'm just gonna squeeze it in a little bit so make it, make it a little bit cute all right 
so I can just choose my you know fiscal year 2012 so I have uh, for my mountain 200 I had 3.7 million sales for my fiscal year 2013 my mountain has 3.3 and then uh, touring has 1000 uh, road 350w has uh, almost you know uh, you know close to 1 million and then uh, road 250 has 730,000 and things like that right so likewise for each and every year this is gonna always change right so as you go you can always uh, visually see here as well so likewise my quantity clo has um, uh, 17 uh, ordered quantity in the year 2011 uh, doesn't matter the product but totally she has ordered 17 quantities in the year 2011 uh, and 2013 uh, the top person as uh, is Jennifer she has had 199 uh, you know total products uh, from my company right so this is how I can slice and dice all right so now if uh, uh, what I can also do here sorry what I can also do here is basically I can uh, create a you know uh, another graph that shows both my uh, sales and my order quantity so I can just go here and say um, I can just you know I can just create this graph this uh, line chart I can, in fact uh, yeah I can create this line chart and then I will just say I need my quantity or quantity as my first value and my sales sum of right here's my sales amount yep perfect sales sum amount will be my second axis right and my uh, uh, x-axis is going to be the month right so if I choose my fiscal year 2013 I wanted to see toward the fiscal year 2013 how has been the trend how has been the trend of the ordered quantity and how has been the trend of the sales amount right so if I see here I'll just choose the month uh, month number of the year this looks good okay let me use that right so this basically shows the trend of how the sales and uh, quantity was for a given uh, for different months in a given year right so perfect so 2013 towards uh, you see the month of the year so 12 10 11 8 7 9 and 1 so we have different months here so it's all started from uh, it was around uh, started at zero kind of zero towards the first month and it went all the way into 2 million uh, and the quantity of 6000 uh, at the end of December right so that's how that's all we have here uh, what you can also do here is basically uh, let's say uh, if the user is wanting like uh, hey I know I have for a given year I have my sales and I have my quantity uh, but let's say in a given period right if I wanted to say what is my sales how do I go about doing that right so in a given period let's say from 2013 to 2015 what is the total sales I made or what is the total quantity that I have uh, you know uh, I've sold right so if you wanted to do that it is 100% doable with DAX uh, since uh, I am just gonna use my date entity my date uh, dimension dim date which is also a lookup table date lookup and my uh, uh, internet sales and I'm gonna build a measure right so let's go ahead and see how we can do that so it's a very basic measure so um, so first what I recommend is basically when you guys create a measure just create a, a dummy table like this this enter say enter data then say you know what you can measure table right uh, table measures or something like that right you just call it like give it a dummy name we are not going to load it into the model or something it is just like uh, like a you know, placeholder right all right so I have my fiscal year filter here so this is like a slicer so what I'm gonna do is basically I'm gonna give a slicer like a, like a between date between 20, 2009 to 2014 so I wanted the power bi to result in my uh, you know uh, sales for this given period right that's what I need so what I do is basically I go here I'll just create a new measure in the measures table that we created so yeah so we have it here so I'm just gonna call
call it by sales by uh, period year here right so all right so uh, this is the name of the measure I have so I'm gonna use uh, uh, use calculate which is a popular tax measure very useful and easy to use so it's just looking for two arguments here an expression and uh, you know followed by the number of filters right uh, so expression is gonna be like you know like a sum average of a column or min or max or you know those kinds of operations right so I'm gonna say I just in this case I just need a sum of the sales so sum of fact sales right so sales amount is what I'm looking for yeah so it's right here you see here I'm just gonna use sales amount I mistakenly pressed this button okay uh, so next argument it's looking for is a filter right so next we need to say how do you want it to get, get it filtered right I wanted to filter the dim date right based on the whatever the user is selected here right so the user is gonna select the minimum fiscal year and maximum fiscal year so you wanted to filter this dim date table right which is in turn gonna filter my filter my fact fact sales because they have a relationship right let's go ahead and do that so I'm gonna say you know what fiscal year fiscal year yeah, fiscal year yeah so fiscal year right so greater than or equal to right minimum right of my fiscal year right so this when I say minimum of fiscal year it's gonna take this uh, user selection I'll tell you exactly how right so that is when the filter context will get applied so I'll just say an AND condition it is not just you know greater than or equal to min but it's also gonna be less than or equal to your maximum selection right so I'll just say again fiscal year is going to be greater than or equal to right max of fiscal year right Alright, so now what's exactly going to happen here is basically this filter here, this function here, the filter function, it's going to return a table. What's going to happen here is basically uh, it's going to filter this dim date table based on the uh, min minimum value of fiscal year, whatever this dim date is going to have. When I when I you know shrink this table, shrink this year here, it's going to filter the dim date. Uh, it's gonna uh, filter the dim date table and it, this function here is gonna take the minimum from that dim date table right at that point the minimum of fiscal year is going to be 2009 right so because you already shrink this table right and again here uh, the maximum at this point is going to be maximum whatever I have, uh, I have filtered this table so this operation is basically gonna squeeze this table the dim date table and with that squeeze table I'm gonna take the min and max right but before that so I'll just say all when I say all it's just gonna you know clean up all the whatever filter you have applied before it is not going to be applied it's gonna you know unfilter everything and then filter from uh, from scratch right so let's just uh, give an enter so that measure is done so now if I drag and drop this right all right, so it switched to blank here. So let's take a look, see what happened wrong. Uh, oops, this one. So I've uh, said my fiscal year is greater than min, minimum of the fiscal year. It should also be less than the maximum year, right? Whatever I have chosen. So I should say less than or equal to, right? So if I do that, now it's gonna work. Yeah. So, all right. So what we have here is basically our fiscal year slicer and it has your uh, car. That you can choose from here and then now you can just play around with this uh, slicer and this is just gonna work as you slice it down right so let's see here so from 2020 2010 to 2012 we had 19.61 million sales so 2010 to 2013 we had 29.36 2011 to 2013 we had 26 million sales uh, one thing that you need to do here is basically this measure you need to make it pretty looking right so if someone else reads this measure it doesn't make any sense for them so what you can do here is basically you can uh, there is this uh, there is this uh, 
website called DAX Formator. So you can just go here and just paste your calc here and then ask it to format, right? So when it formats, as you can just copy it, you can just make it look pretty, right? It's not gonna do anything functionally, but it's just gonna make it look pretty, right? So you have your uh, calc ready, ready to go. Yeah, so that's what we have here. The important thing that you need to do here is the interactions, right? So you see here, uh, if I select my fiscal year, so this shouldn't get affected by this selection here. I, when I select my fiscal year, you see here, this is getting uh, affected, right? So that I don't want that to happen. So because it's taking the maximum context, uh, when I say fiscal year is equal to 13, the dim date table is only gonna have the fiscal year of 13 at this point. Uh, since you already selected the filter so what I will say is I'll just say uh, this uh, filter will only work for this uh, this uh, one card and then the, this fiscal year drop down is gonna work for everything else right so how do I do that so that is exact so there is a thing called edit interactions now I set it to on you see here and I select this and I select my fiscal year it should there is you see here for each and every measure it shows a filter and no filter right filter and none so when i select this uh, uh, slicer i'll say that you know uh, fil do not filter this one right so do not filter this but filter this filter this and filter this right for when i select this i don't w i only wanted this to filter perfect but i don't want this to get filtered neither i don't want this to get filter or i don't want you know this to get filter right now it is perfect and clean all right so when the user comes in so for the fiscal year 2014 how much sales do i have right so fiscal year 24 2013 so for the fiscal year 2013 i have my uh, sales from my mountain 200 as 3.3 .3 million and then I have different order quantities, uh, right? Likewise, I have my sales and uh, sales and uh, order quantities uh, trend for the fiscal year 2013. What I can also do is from the, uh, if I wanted to say you know, from the year 2013 to 2014, what is my sales looking, right? So it's 9.74 million is what I made in this year. So likewise, I can just uh, play around with this uh, slicer to find uh, what is the given sales for my period, right? Nothing else is going to get affected by this one, right? So yeah, so that's what we have here, guys. So what we did is basically we just used our basic uh, uh, DAX measure, right? Just like uh, creating your uh, sum of sales uh, based on a filter condition for your uh, year min and max um, and then uh, we just used only one car that's going to be filtered based on that measure as well as we have our uh, fiscal year filter which is going to be applied on your uh, all these other visuals that you have created right so yeah just play around with that and let me know how it goes uh, and you really need your feedback it really means a lot so uh, please put your feedbacks in the comment box thank you so much for watching